YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Gal Racer 2004. We're going to go ahead and look in the info office. I think we have something new in our catalog. I always forget the catalog is not there. It's at home. <laughs> catalog. All right. Um, I said we got something new. I don't know what, though. Uh, Dream Palace increases speed in North American special races. Okay. Lock all lessons, power up in special Asian races, yada yada. Um, ooh, okay, so change 40 course records and dispensers for gallop pills increase power in normal races. Okay. Um, we don't even have that many G's because, well, we haven't really won a lot of G1s, so we can't buy anything, but that's good to know. This is episode 143 on this series. Make sure you guys do smash the like button. It does help out a lot. Make sure to share as well on any social media networks if you feel comfortable doing so. Um, we're getting right back into it. So we kind of have a full, a full roster here. We got seven horses. Five of those are originals. Um, Pale Fear, I'm, I mean, he's racing well still, considering he's been on the downhill for a little bit. 80 temper, 83 feel, 65 speed. He really is not a bad horse, being that he's deranked with no abilities. It's quite amazing. Um, yeah, it's really quite amazing. You know, I, I wish there was a reason or a legitimate reason to at least use him for breeding because i feel like he's been so consistent and i know gallop racer does take that into consideration but he has no ability so you know i don't know if that would be worth it and we i don't even know if we have the space but nonetheless he's been an awesome horse we got two of our newest ones and i don't know who i'm racing on today so uh we will venture together Last episode, we left off. It's a Ghost got his third win in a row before losing at the G1 Tokyo Cup. Pale Fear did well. Um, finishing sixth, I think, out of a field of 14. And then Tiger's Eye and Zodiac Queen are two newest two-year-olds. Tiger's Eye, two-year-old Colt. Zodiac Queen, two-year-old Philly are here. But... Before we get to them, we got a race on Pale Fear again. We're expected to finish 11th. Same thing as the last episode. It was a G3. We were projected to finish 11th. We ended up finishing 6th. Can we do the same thing? Let's see. Hopefully we can. I'm really excited to race on these two-year-olds. I feel like we finally have kind of gotten out of the curse of not having success with our originals. Mainly because of Golden Monster. It's such a shame because she, by date, is still technically, to me, I think our best philly slash mare we've ever had but as a as a breeding mare she was quite awful because of her close race not good ability and then sedate ruler kind of a similar issue but i think that has finally stopped with it's a ghost as well but golden monster definitely her ability did not help especially any other fillies and today ruler just seemed like his foals would just kind of tap out and not do anything for us at least when i had them and then once i lost them in another the AI, I should say, started to control them. They started winning, but I think we have finally broken through all of that bad luck is what I'm trying to say. So we get a 7 here with Pale Fear. It's always a good sign. We, we are potentially on course here for a money place finish. They are midway down the back stretch. And I don't think this track has a rough, so... I'm really, uh, really looking forward to seeing what Zodiac Queen and... Tiger's Eye are going to be able to do. Really, really, really looking forward to it. Okay, got to get him going here because we are way, way, way at the back. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get the jump. Let's get the jump. Now we're going to start using the whip. Pale Fear, he's a tough horse, man. He is going to fight all the way. Furlong left to go. <laughs> We are fighting right alongside the eight horse. Pale Fear is digging in. Half a furlong to go. We're just going to get close to the wire and just tired out. I think too much whipping. Still third place. What I tell you, this horse is incredible. For a D ranked horse, Pale Fear is incredible. We could have really won that. I think I whipped him one too many times. Oh, man. What a horse. I. <laughs> He is, he, he's just defying the odds literally every time. And we are hitting our spurts with him double S's all the time. Absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Hell fear. Another great G3 performance. Out of 
That's a money place finish. That's a third place finish. That's a podium, basically. <laughs> I swear, it's, it's, it's really amazing just how great that horse has been for us. Like I said, he's deranked. He's deranked. It's like, wow. Just just the consistency. I, I appreciate that so much. You guys know my philosophy. I will always take a consistent horse over a horse with a, you know, ocean full of talent but lacks consistency. I am always about consistency when it comes to anything athletic, athletically related. Pale Fear is consistent. He is not a S-ranked or a double S-ranked horse or even an A-ranked horse, but he has been consistent, and I know I can rely on him to bring us good results every time we race. And that, to me, means so much more than just being on a horse with a crap load of talent, but I don't know if we're going to finish in the money or if we're going to finish second at last. I do not like that. Sharp Charm is up, though. Four-year-old filly, and uh, we have yet... To get a podium with her. Eight races though. No third place. We need to try to improve on that. Hilton did race on her a little bit earlier. Uh, where does she like to run? Okay. Let, let's see if we can make this happen. We've had her for a while. I think, right? I mean, she's four years old now. We've had her since she was two. And I'm kind of surprised we really haven't raced her that much. We'd like to try to get a win with her. Post position one. We're expected to finish seventh out of twelfth. There's a potential for a money place finish in there. Um, yeah, she's from Great Bolero out of Golden Monster. Again, I think she is the last of the Golden Monster lineage. She still has that close race, not good ability, but she does have stretch burst and toughness. Like I said, statistically speaking, she's not bad, but that close race, not good. I mean, we have to be winning. If we're not, any slight head-to-head -head loss is automatically going to demotivate her. And then uh, the race is kind of over at that point. So I hope we can um, obviously improve on that. But we'll see. Okay. Pretty good start here. See what the field does. She wants to be in the back. So realistically, I'm just kind of going to let everybody just rush past us if I can. And, uh, yeah, seventh or better. I just remembered a random comment from a while ago. I was talking about projected odds as far as what pops up in this game. For example, this race, uh, Sharp Charms projected odds are that she'll finish 7th. Somebody was like, that's not the actual odds. What are you talking about? That doesn't matter. I'm like, well, yeah, but for the sake of this game, it is what you have to go off of because that is what the goals are. This game runs on a goal per race basis so if it says you're supposed to finish seventh and that is your goal to come over odds that means you have to finish seventh or better i was just really surprised at that comment it just didn't make any sense sometimes i feel like maybe people are just legitimately just trying to troll me and just be funny because some of the comments don't actually make any sense those comments are rare but when i get them i'm like that doesn't make sense you realize you do have to finish where the game tells you to finish and that's my fault that is completely, completely my fault. I was supposed to get her out earlier, and I did not. Well, this is a lot of speed. Holy crap. A little too late, though. Too late. Or maybe not. Did we get seventh? I don't think we did. We got eighth. Ah, oh, man. Well, she's got the speed like her mother. That is for darn sure. That, that's totally my fault. I didn't mean to move her there. Ah, that's a little frustrating. That's a little frustrating. That's 100% on me. I, I didn't mean to get her blocked in like that. I meant to move her out a little bit more before I got to that point. And then I moved her in way too late. That's totally my fault. Ah, that's frustrating. That was a throwaway. And we lost her. Well, what are you going to do? Eight races. We hadn't even got a, a third place finish with her. It, it is what it is, but like I said, I mean, the Golden Monster crop of, of original horses, I've just kind of been over because they all have essentially just kind of flopped for me. So I don't even hold any attachment like I used to. Um, if anything, it's probably better that we don't have to deal with the uh, the stress of that. 
as much as I hate losing any original horse, because I put time into obviously that I put time into that, and then the, the the points to even acquire the original. It is what it is. Golden Monster, she was a great filly and mare. Like I said, probably our best still to this day. But her her foals, gosh, they've kind of been train wrecks. Pale Fear again. We're we're projected to finish eleventh, but this is the third race in a row. To the pre prior two races, we were projected to finish eleventh, and we finished in the money every single time. I feel like we're we're going to again succeed here. We gotta finish eleventh or better. I say we're in we're in place for a money a money finish. Yeah, Sharp Charm. I mean, she was four years old. We had her since she was two. Two years and not a single podium. It is what it is. I don't think there's anything to really get upset about. On to bigger and better things. Pale fear here. Great <laughs> start. We are off and running. Great start as well. He gets out really well. Like, I don't really want to retire this horse. Eventually, he's going to have to. But I just feel like he's been so consistent and good for us. I just wish I could use him for something. But, like I said, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have him replace any of the current studs we have. It's just like, man. I'm just going to race him until, you know, we can't really. He's consistent. We get along. Like, it doesn't make sense really to to uh, release him anytime soon that's also something people have told me to do because a horse is not like a double s or an s ranked horse i'll oh, release that horse they're no good okay, like as long as we're one. able to finish in the money and get points like i'm gonna keep racing on the horse it doesn't make sense to release a horse that's still doing well for you it's just didn't mean to move that much what the heck Okay, we're gonna let these horses kind of gas themselves out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried. I'm still not worried. I'm still not worried. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> oh, maybe a little bit. Oh, okay, well, maybe I should have been worried. I knew what I was doing. We had plenty left in the tank. I guess I needed to start earlier. I forgot tracks like these with longer straights. It is vital to get going a little bit earlier. I just felt we were going to have a little bit more of a speed boost in the end, and uh, we did not. It's too bad races with horses that cook trains in a row. I, I, I got to be careful. We worked so hard to get on good terms with her. I, I certainly don't want to go backwards. Again, that one was also my fault. Oh, no, I did this. I didn't want to go. I, well, I didn't want to go immediately to the next race, but well, here we are. Zodiac Queen's making her debut. Six furlongs on the turf. We got to beat one horse. That is pressure because usually when I'm racing on an original two-year-old for the first time, we're expected to finish last, so there's no pressure. Like I can finish last and we'll still hit our goal, and I won't have to worry. But we actually have to beat one horse. I hope she's up to the test here today. There she is, the beautiful Zodiac Queen. I hope you are ready to go, gal. Hope you are ready to go. Making her debut. Let's hope this goes over well. And I think she is one of Cook's horses, so we need to hit our goal. I would not want to have three back-to-back -back failures. Okay, pretty good start. I have no idea where she's going to want to be either, as far as her racing position. So I suppose I'm just kind of going to keep her wherever she settles in as long as she's not going too fast. This seems to be okay. I'll keep her right here. And we'll kind of rock and roll with that. Because again, I don't genuinely know. I mean, I know nothing about where she'll want to be. There are no sevens. So I don't know if she's a front runner. I don't know if she's a stalker or a closer. No idea. But we'll figure it out eventually. Let's just hope that we can uh, hit our goal here. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a late run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, Zodiac Queen. Run, gal. Very long outside trip, but it's what we got to do. Okay, she's got some fight in her. Spurt ability unlocked. Okay, that's great. We don't hit that usually in our first race with an original. Okay, well, we're going to reach our goal, and we're going to beat a couple of horses along the way. That is good enough for, I think, eighth. Or seventh. It was good enough for seventh. That's a great debut for Zodiac Queen. Fantastic. 
Well, unfortunately, I have some bad news. Uh, no idea what happened to my commentary audio at this point in the video. It just cut off. And, of course, the way I have to record, I can't actually see my commentary audio while I'm recording. I just have to hope the software doesn't stop. Apparently, it stopped, and the remaining half of this video is not going to have any commentary. Really, really irritating. I may do something like kind of a voiceover commentary as I'm rewatching and editing this film just to give you guys something. Um, not the end of the world, but of course, that's always annoying when that happens. I apologize for that. So either there will be no commentary for the rest of this episode, or I will kind of do a voiceover editing commentary uh, over the races that we still have to complete. Apologize for that, and uh, let's continue. The horses are in the gate. And they're off. That was a beautiful start. Five furlongs to go.
Okay, this is where the race is won. to go. The horses are in the gate. And away they go. That was a beautiful start. to go. Show your guts!
The horses are in the gate. Two furlongs to go. The horses are in the gate. And they're off. Five furlongs to go. Okay, this is where the race is won. Two furlongs to go. We have a winner.